Hi and welcome back to Springy Family Gaming and I am back off the back of coming back from the most awesome uh, collab with Dark J, Dig Dug, co-primate in Creativeverse and now I'm back in here to do my Trollverse episode, that's right. I'm about to find out what has happened if I've been trolled. I really think I might have because like I made it so obvious so obvious where I am. I put a beacon out. Oh my gosh. Who would not see that? Who would not see that? So yes. Should we find out? Let's go into the world. So what am I going to do today? Oh, what am I going to do? Okay, so I'm going to play a little bit of Teleporter Wars. So what I'm going to do is get a whole bunch of resources and I'm going to place down a teleporter and I am going to try different codes and see if I can find anyone's base by using um, resources, like finding codes, yeah, so um, I could end up dying a fair bit, so the only thing that I'm going to keep on me are basically my weapons and armor and the resources I'm using to get in and out of the teleporters, so we're going to try and do that um, after I clean up whatever troll has been done to my base, because there's no way that I would not have been trolled. Um, these guys, they're, they're not silly. I'm betting that someone has found it. So, let's um, go to the worlds. Oh, I've got to get the timer. Wait, I can do nothing without a timer. So, I've got setting it for an hour. Now someone let out the bag that they that I haven't been trolled, but you know, I'm willing to bet that something has happened. So, okay. My recent worlds. Oh, see the troll versus is way down here. That's how long it's been since I played. Let's click on it. Play! Ready to start the timer! Ready to start the timer for an hour. We're going to play Teleporter Wars. Yes, we are. Teleporter Wars. Wait till I hear the sound of the music. To signal the start of the day. Da, da, da. Come on. Come on, music, start. Oh, there we go. I've started. And here I am at spawn and there is my beacon of horror. Um, okay, let's hang on. No, this is me. No one's trolled me. <laughs> Wait, Dick Duck has trolled Dark J. Dick Doug has trolled Dark J. He's got his revenge. He's had vengeance. Woohoo! Okay. All right. Hang on. Let's just heard. And yeah. Okay. So look at that. Dick Doug has had his vengeance on Dark J. Does that mean Dark J's moved? Oh my gosh. Should we go looking for Dark J? Should we? Should we do that? Do I change my mind about what am I doing? Actually, no. Um, let's um, quickly jump over to my amazing beacon of terror, of horror. See, I can always find where I'm going by this. Let's go to my beacon. Beacon, 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 beacon. Where is my beacon? I'll better take these turnips. Come on turnips. Just thank you. Let's go to my beacon. Where's my beacon? What? Someone's dug out my beacon? What is this? Is someone down here now? Wait. How far does this go? Stone? No? Okay, someone's been digging. Someone's been digging and I haven't been trolled. 
because my house is right here quite obviously okay what am I gonna do I'm oh my gosh uh, mommy's place beware um, I love my little place it's awesome but I have a feeling that all of this could end up disappearing and I do love my resources so since I have so much wood like I have so much wood let's just do this let's get rid of all my nice wood oh something's wrong with my mining glove obsidian mining cell no, it's just slow. I'm not used to it. Uh, so let's... Um, I want to keep my good wood. Uh, if I get trolled... I'm leaving the beacon, by the way. I don't want someone to take all my lovely wood. All my windows. So we're going to swap it out. It was silly of me to put this lovely wood here. So it'll only take me a second to fill it back up. So if I was trolling myself, I would get, take all of this and keep it. I don't want that to happen. Also, another thing I'm going to do is put out a dummy chest. A dummy chest will have some just kind of rubbish resources in it, nothing important, um, that will be visible. So if I do get trolled, then um, it doesn't matter. My good resources are still hidden. And this is still my base. It's just a matter of locating it. Okay. Um, another thing I'll do is make a spare bed. So that if that disappears, I have a backup bed. And I do know I've got a backup processor and um, forge. So I don't mind leaving those there. Windows. What can I change them out to? Do I have any... Can I make some junk windows what does that take I don't have enough stone slabs for that uh, wood rods I've got enough to craft some basic windows so I've got enough to craft 12 so 2 3 4 1 2 3 okay I'll take these ones out and I'll just skip to here and change them out What am I doing? Why am I doing this? Because remember last episode, this took me ages. And I'm already regretting making it so obvious to be found. Even though no one's found me, I just feel like I'm paranoid right now and that I am going to get found. So, um, yeah, this is me being overly precautious. Cautious? Overly cautious? Yes. Taking out all my good resources and swapping them out for plain ones. It'll still only take me a little while, and then I can go on the hunt. Oh, but I want to. I want to hide. I want to hide Code Primate. I'm afraid that if I don't, he'll end up disappeared. I don't want to lose my pet. Okay, you, I'm just going to punch you back for a minute. Thank you. Okay. Let's jump you back there. nice it still looks good and you know what this is just cragwood this doesn't this is not important this is easy to replace there is my um, what you call it my storage so I've got to create another 
chest. Right, um, I'm just going to put out a basic chest. So I need some beeswax. Let's grab a piece. Oh, my inventory's full. Let's um, swap something over. Um, what can I put over there? Put that over for us. Oh no, that container's full. So both are full. I can't interact with either. So um, I'll put that in a bag and get out the beeswax. Craft. Oh, I won't be able to do anything with that. Let's put that in the bag. Craft a chest. Uh, take the chest and put it um, top side. And in this chest is just going to be random junky stuff. So I might put in, let's put in a stone sword to make it look like it is actually my storage. Um, we'll put in some saplings. Um, oh, we'll put in a peak stone. Just to show that I already found some big stone and tried to get to the other teleporter for fun. Um, what else can we put in there? Nothing important, nothing important. So we'll put both sinew in. Um, so this doesn't really look like anything. Maybe we'll leave a chair there. I don't know. Um, let's put in some flowers. Actually, not, not all of them. Let's put in... Oh man, two flowers, three of those, six of those, lots of that, some of that, and a bone. And I think, I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so there's a chest there. Alright. Let's grab those. Finish this off. Oh, if they remove my floor, they're going to find this. So I'm going to have to move that back. Uh, down here. I have to put it back. So, oh my gosh, how am I going to relocate all this? Seriously, it's going to be hard. Oh, I've got another chest. Yay. Okay, so what I'll do is put this chest back here. And in this chest, I will throw important stuff like... Oh, what am I doing with it? I've got an iron mining cell on me. I shouldn't be using the one I've got in my hand. There we go. Put the obsidian one in there. Put the magnetite. Drog. Yeah. Warm worm. Uh, coal, knotted wax, wood wall, no I'm using those, ladders, keep the wood windows, um, da -da -da -da. sandstone, sand, peak stone, tourmaline, Mob spawner. Um, I'll keep that on me. Keep the processes. Put the shredded leaves over. Put the chair over. Container is full. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Death statue. Oh, I'll put a death statue out. Let's do that. Okay, um, I might actually, 
leave this chest like that and leave it under the floor to be found to put people off the scent of the good chest so let's grab this I'm, I'm trying to be tricky here let's um do that because if someone tries to take the floor they're going to find that and I kind of want it found but I don't want the one behind it found so let's let's just hope that this plan works let's just have our fingers crossed eh? alright back to this Do you reckon I should put the mob spawner out and put a sensor down? Maybe we can make angry pigsy mo um Maybe. Let's just get rid of that. Right, let's do the roof. Okay, so now my room is very basic. Um, I've got to move this chest. I have to move this chest. Wow, do I have to? Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, this is a big one. Oh, I'm going to put a wooden sword and leather pauldron over the other side. In this chest. Let's do that. And the one that's most damaged. Wood mining cell, wood mining cell, and a wood mining cell. Let's put some wood floors over to look like we did something there. And that. What else can we put over? Pretty much the only stuff I want to keep on me is important stuff. The rest I'm getting rid of. Okay, so well you can see right through there. Oh my gosh. Oh you can't. Alright, so yeah, I don't need any of that stuff. I'm just gonna do a quick swap out. Crumpled notes, torn journal pages don't really care about. So I'm going to leave that there too. So let's do that. And go into this and I'm going to swap some stuff out. So I'll take the mob spawner, trog, windows, not those windows, only those windows. Obsidian, stone, take the obsidian, arc stone. My inventory is full, swap out again. Um, M. Yeah. Get rid of that. Take that. I don't want to have an, a massively full inventory. What do I want to put back? I think. I think that's it. We've got stone, tourmaline, magnetite. I 
Oh, look, see, that can go there. So I have got a little bit of room. Oh, put my desk, don't, I put my bed desk statue out. Let's put it there. Do I have any more torches? No. Let's move this one. And put it there. There we go. Right, let's fill that little hole. Okay, so this is how I want my room to look when a, when I get trolled. Basically, uh, I don't want my pigsy that my piggy there, pigsy there. So I'm going to put my code primate away over this side. I'm worried. Uh, so, come here. You're supposed to come over here when I call you. Why aren't you coming? Oh, you're asleep. Wake up. Come on. Over here. Over here. Come on. Right, uh, you go stay. I'm going to punch you over there. And... I need to give you a light, don't I? Let's craft. Wait. Crafting. And let's put one in there. And seal you up. Hopefully it blocks out enough light. Oh, you can still be heard, you little noisy thing. Gosh, you're so noisy. Okay. Um, Alright, do I want to uh, put a sensor in? Can I craft one? Sensor... What do I have one in my inventory? Sensor. Okay. Yeah. Do I have a sensor? I haven't unlocked it. Let's craft one. Okay. Um, I need another arc stone. I thought I had more arc stone than that. Well, it's night, so I need to find. Um, is this close? Oh no, I haven't got a door there. So let's go and find. Um, a keeper and get arc stone. Oh, yeah, I see all you. All right, let's go. These are all my um, torches to put people off the track. Hey, don't pick on me. Okay, so what are we looking for? A keeper. Let's go looking for a keeper. I think I've just gone around in a big circle. And once we've done that and I've crafted the mob spawner sensor, then I am, will be happy with my base, and then we can start doing teleport wars. Well, teleporter wars, I'll call it. Yeah, let's do that. Any treasure chests? And I'm keeping an eye out for treasure chests as well. Come on, where is these keepers at? Keeper! Keeper, keeper, keeper! Gonna find you, Kippers. Oh, Arctic Mirror. I want to avoid those if I can. Oh, 
Oh, while we're here, we'll get a few extra resources for our teleporter things. So, snow. I've discovered snow! Yay! Oh. <gasps> Go away, Arctic Mirror. I'm not looking for you, I'm looking for um, keepers. You're blue, but you're the wrong kind of blue! Yes, you are! You're not what I'm looking You're not the droid I was looking for. Okay. Oh, wow. Let's go for a swim. Uh, down a waterfall. What? Let's jump up. I'm waiting. I'm listening for the jingle. You know that jingle. Oh, that looks like one. Is that one? Yes, and I found a chest. Excellent. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to get you. I need your arc stone. Oh, come on. Stop running. Oh, come here. Okay, I got you. Awesome. I got two extractors, coal, melted wax, and the arc stone I wanted. I would have preferred more arc stone, but that's okay. Right, I saw a chest. How far did I run? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Um, I only grabbed what I could fit. What's in there that's left? Oh, I don't need that. Unless... No, that's a crumpled note. That's not a recipe. Okay. Good job. So I can craft that sensor now. Oh, no, I can't. My inventory's full. I'll craft it soon. Let's see if we can find another... Um, what do you call it? Is that one? Yeah, that looks like one. In the snow. It's okay, we're going to the snow. We're going to the snow to find a... Wait, no. It's a... Night chizzard. And? What are you? Are you... You look like... Why are you jumping like that? What are you jump? What are you thing jumping? I can see you. Let me sneak up on you, real stealthy like. Find out who you are. Oh, it's trapped. It's a. Oh no, it's not trapped. Oh my gosh. <sighs> it wasn't what I was looking for. <sighs> okay, avoid, avoid. Evade! There's two of them! Oh, they were both stuck and I triggered them um, to follow me. I triggered them. Triggered! Oh, Nuts. Nuts. Uh, okay. Well, it's still night. I am still looking for more... Ar uh, not Arctic mirrors. I'm still looking for... Um, you know what they call keepers. If I see a golden one, I'll be even happier because they will give me a whole lot of what I need. That would be awesome. I have no idea where I am. I am totally lost. This is awesome. I love it. I haven't discovered any new areas, so I must have passed through here before. Come on, where are you, keepers? Bounce, bounce, bur oh, chest, it's like, I see a chest, it's like, squirrel, gotta get it, distracted, what can I take, the coal definitely, uh, pretty much full up, okay, check it out, new day is arising, go away night pixie, don't want you around here, goodbye, See you later. Sayonara. Au revoir. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is getting like rocky terrain. I hope I don't fall to my death. I'm very good at that. As you will know from my episode where I found the teleporter in the sky. Oh, wow. I'm on a grand adventure here. I have no idea where I'm going.
like now I am. I think I'm super lost. Let's just teleport back. Boom. Yep. Well, we have 24 minutes on the clock. I just spent a whole chunk of that just running around looking for a keeper during the day when I know they only come out at night mostly. Yes. Silly me. Silly me. Okay. Off the spawn, that's me. Right, let's just set up this and then get the teleporter out and try a few different codes. So we're going to try a grass code, a snow code, a stone code. And maybe something like a stalactite code. We'll see. So let's just jump up. See what I don't know if I've got all the resources, but we'll try a few different things. So first, let's put the sensor down. Oh, my inventory is full. Okay, let's just go in here and throw something in here. Um. Here we go. Right. So, sensor is... Did I craft it? Or did I not have room to craft it? No, I didn't. Wait, I just made room. Oh, let's throw that out. Right, block phaser ready to unlock. Ooh, that's what I wanted. Block phaser. Okay, and I need way more arc stone for that. So I really need to find some more of them arc pets because unless No. No. No, I didn't have any. Okay. Okay. There it is. Right, so the sensor is going to pick up from there onwards. So let's put on our wiring tool. Oh, I haven't got it active. Let's just activate it. Right, now if we go in here, we want to make the height 3. Ah, oh, not 6, 3. The length two and the width one. Uh, no creatures can pass through it, just players. So it'll pick up the door and beyond the door, which is perfect. Then we want to put in the mob spawner. So we're going to take that one out and put in mob spawner. Type aggressive play effect. Oh my gosh! Are you kidding? I can. Let's not make it aggressive. Let's just try this out without the aggression because I haven't wired it up yet so let's um, so this receives mob spawner one 
and sends the sensor one. Save. Right, let's just name this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, let's call this mob spawner one. Save. Oh my gosh. Oops. Should be active. Let's see. Oops, no, that's not what it's supposed to do. Ah, get off. Okay, let's just make it work again. Okay. Alright, let's test it. Yes. Hey, thing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, Alright. Oh my gosh. Okay, it works. So. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awesome. Oh, I wish I saved that for a troll. But I think it's going to be fine. Oh my gosh. Whoever stumbles across me is going to get the fright of their life. I just died. All my inventory has gone. Whoa, let's be careful there. I still, I can kill that thing though. If it's not dead already. Oh wait. Is it still up there? It is. Let's see if I can entice it down. I think I've just trolled myself again. Yes. Come on. I'm going to duke it out with you. Oh my gosh, how hard is this thing to kill? Oh my gosh. Wow. Why did I do that? It's so hard to kill. Oh my gosh. That is so hard to kill. Oh no! Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh! Why did I choose that creature? It's not dying! I don't even know if I'm doing any damage to it. Oh man! Oh my gosh! Like I've only got four health potions left. This thing is after me. No! <laughs> Why did I do that? I'm getting it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got it and it just disappeared. <gasps> oh no. How am I going to collect my death statue? <gasps> I'm never going to be able to come back here again. Oh my gosh. <coughs> it wasn't supposed to be aggressive and... Co-primate is out. Let me just collect that. 
Oh my gosh, let's put a door in. Okay, that is awesome and bad at the same time because now I've just made my place unlivable, un uninhabitable. Okay, come on, follow me, co-primate. You're coming with me. Oh my gosh. Okay, so literally I am leaving with the stuff in my pack. Whatever I have on me. I've just made it super dangerous for anyone going in. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on, we've got to put you in a new home. Let's gonna we're gonna put you in our minds, pig um co primate. Come with me. You're coming with me. Do I have my teleporters on me? Yes, good. Everything important I have on me, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Alright, come on. This way. Come to the mines. Here we go. Mummy's place, beware. Mummy's mines. Alright, we're going to put you in here, nice and safe. Come over here. Thank you. You stay. This is your new home. This is not my new base, by the way. I still have to do these teleporter things. So, um, what I might do... Um, no. I'm pretty sure my inventory is pretty full. Can I craft a chest or anything? I should be able to craft a chest. I just used the mob spawner. Oh, I can unlock the stucco window. Nice. Um, yeah, I can craft one of them. Okay, I've just crafted a chest. And I'm going to put it in the mine somewhere. Where I'll um, most likely forget. <coughs> Where, where am I going to put it? Um, like near the beginning of my mine. Okay, let's just get the stone, put it there. Why did I, why did I, why did I spawn an aggressive, aggressive thing? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm going to be so hated. Whoever comes across that is just going to literally hate me. Okay, what am I going to put in here? Um, pretty much anything I'm not going to really use at the moment. Um, I'll put in my furnishings in there too. Dirt, what am I doing with a piece of dirt? Get rid of that. My death statue. Um, pressure plate. Delay gate. Logic gate. Flip flop gate. Inverter gate. Switches. <coughs> I'll keep those, they're handy. Drugs, warm worms, mirrors, obsidian sword I'll keep on me, get rid of the wood mining cell, keep the extractors, might wear them. What have I got on me? I've got a pauldron on me. Get rid of that. Stucco wall, canyon stone. Um, yeah, oh, that's right. I was going to do some tests, so I want to keep some resources on me, like grass, which is no grass on my inventory, on my person right now. Um, processor and how many much more? I've only got room for two more things. Um, Let's throw the obsidian down there. 
So uh, let's throw the throw one <coughs> teleporter in there, and that's full. Okay, let's block that up. Okay, um, alright, so I've got nine minutes on the clock and I'm going to try some, I've got to get some grass from outside. Oh, it's night! That means night creatures. Oh my gosh, look at that, this is all dug up. Oh, I feel sorry for anyone who comes across my base. That, that troll is so good. It's, oh, I don't even get points for it. It's awesome. Okay. Um, all right, okay, let's put a teleporter down. And we're going to give it a code of bedrock no I don't need to oh, yes I do I need to give it a code so this portal's code is going to be bedrock bedrock wait no that's limestone limestone I hear another creature oh, I'll just make it limestone okay Go away. You can go through the teleporter. There you go. Gone. Okay, so where does the teleporter go? Let's try some codes. Did I grab the grass? I did. Let's put grass in first. Let's see where the grass goes. Teleporting. Okay. Okay. Grass took me to the back of spawn. Let's uh, inspect it. Whose device is this? Co primates teleporter. So it just takes me. Wait. Where is this? The river? I think this is just a random teleport to throw off the scent. I don't think there'd be anything here. So grass is nothing. Grass is a code, I don't know what you want to call it, diversion. A quick way to get back to spawn, maybe. Well, why don't you just press T and use your teleporter? No, nope, it's a diversion. Okay. Right, no problem. We have five minutes left to try a few more codes. Code? Oh, no. I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. I, my apologies, that was a reflex. I should have fallen to my death, and I didn't. Oh my gosh. That was just a reflex? I know we're not supposed to save our own lives if we fall to our death. I would have technically died right there. 
Oh my gosh, I'm going to be in so much trouble. I'm going to have to report that. Yeah, oh look, I might die to my death yet. Oh, there's another chest. There's a couple of really awesome chests here. Let's grab this one first. We don't want those. There's one in here. A really awesome one. Oh, there's one of you. Um, out of health potions. Oh, there's one on both sides. Are you kidding me? I can't see anything except for this. There are crabs here. This is like a dangerous cave. Oh, there's nothing near. Just that. I don't want that. Okay. Alright, let's just go get somewhere safe and teleport. Oh, you know what? This is going to happen again. It's going to happen again. I'm going to fall. Am I? No, I should be teleporting home. I shouldn't be going through a teleport. I should be teleporting to spawn. <coughs> yes, I'm back at spawn. Okay. Alright, so what I do know established that... The grass teleporter goes to a diversion teleporter that Code created. And going through that again will take you through um, Dig Dug's teleport. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see you. I didn't put you there. Um, I have uh, two minutes on the clock. So, really, um, I have to get back to that mountain and pick up that teleporter. Lol. I know that lol. Two minutes to go. And I didn't get to try stone. I would love to try stone. Oh, I'm, I'm all turned about. Uh, how did I get lost? Oh, there's my rock. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be in so much trouble. Let's not put stone in there. Let's... Uh... Why can't I interact with it? What's going on? Uh, okay. Okay, so the teleporter that's been left without a code is code's diversion one at the tree. Okay, let's just teleport back to spawn. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I should have died twice that episode. That's nuts. Oh my gosh. Let's put a block down. It was a building block. Un unless you count me trolling myself. <laughs> yeah. Yep, there's the timer. Let's just swap out the block. Oh my gosh. Done. Stop. Stop. Okay, let's um just go out into HUD. Oh my gosh. Um <laughs> thanks so much for watching this episode of Springy Family Gaming playing Trollverse, not Trollverse like everyone else says, it's Trollverse, believe me. Um 
I wouldn't know if I would class it as a building episode, more of a, um, I don't know. I don't know what you'd call it. I have literally trolled myself and nearly died. Actually, did die. Oh my gosh. Eek! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you again next time for Springy Family Gaming. Bye!